Hello, my name is Lester and I will teach you about tarantulas and how to be an explorer. First I'm going to teach you about tarantulas. Here is my pet tarantula and he is called Pat Pat. If spider's legs fall off, they always regrow and on the back of tarantula's bodies there are some hairs and if, the, and if he fires those hairs and they hit in your eyes you will be blind forever and I feed them once a time a day and they like, like eating insects like grasshoppers, crickets and sometimes beetles, worms, slugs, and caterpillars, and praemantists. And tarantulas can go off without eating for two whole years. We have a piece of wood in my cage and a thing that can trap crickets so when they come out they get eaten by the spider and some water and if you can see right there where it's all greyish it's some of his web where he rolled it. It's a bit like a carpet and he sleeps in there and if that falls down on him he might die. So I'm going to move this up a bit. And when tarantulas molt, um, you can take the skin and see the fangs, and the fangs won't be poisonous anymore. And, and they make a special place in the home that looks a bit like this this oh oopsie and uh, th they make that because they go upside down to molt and um they only make burrows they don't make like webs like garden spiders they kind of make usually they make webs on the floor like he did and um, tarantulas can kill you if they bite you loads of times you, you could die and the most poisonous spider in the world it's called the Brazilian huntsman spider it lives in Brazil and the second deadliest spider is the female funnel web and you might know not know what female means. It means girl. And usually the girls eat the male. And male means boy. It feels like some, like some fur hitting you by walking. It, it feels like... It feels like really weird, a bit ticklish and I can feel the claws on him and I can see them. Did you know that spiders that live in the desert, if they get cold, they might die. So they have to stay hot and um, it's the degrees in here is about 22 degrees and um, my tarantula has a heater but we took the heater out because otherwise he um, can't move him he has to stay there but we had to take the heater out here are all the stuff that you need 
need to be a explore a microscope for in case there's a dark hole and there's some and you think something's in there and you need a computer and you use a plug and then you put it in and um then you can see what's in there it comes right up on the computer and you will need this in case something's up higher and you want to get it. You, you click here and you push and then you let go and then it, you might have catch something in there. And this, you might need this in case you have really big things to take back. So you might want to put it in here and you can open it and you can open it on the other side and then close it but if one way doesn't work just try the other way look like that way can't really work but it can and you might need this with a what are they? with a um a magnifying glass and this too to see what you've caught in it might be one of these and you might need this with a magnifying glass too. If you put something in there, there's some numbers and you can see how big it is. It might be a inch or some centimeters. And this is the end of my Explorer and Tarantula program. I hope you like it. Bye.